If you are new to the world of rare books, you might wonder what these words mean. What is an octavo, a quarto, a folio, or an elephant folio? These terms refer to a book's format and come from how sheets of paper of different sizes were folded and subsequently bound. An octavo is a book format made when a printer folds a single sheet three times. This creates eight double-sided leaves to make one gathering of 16 pages, usually signed with a letter. For an octavo, printers would lay out their set type into eight forms per side, with the correct orientation and layout, called an imposition scheme. When folded, this would make 16 pages of printed text. The final book size is one-eighth the size of the original page, usually up to 25 centimeters, but ranging in size based on the size of the original sheet of paper. Next is the quarto, with only four forms of set text per side to make eight pages total. Quarto is therefore a size up from the octavo, with the books being on average 26 to 29 centimeters tall. One size up from the quarto is the folio, where the type is set into only two forms, it makes four pages of text with the sheet folded once. Next up in size from the folio is the elephant folio, topping the folio by being over 38 centimeters. These giants are dwarfed only by the double elephant folios and atlas folios, the largest printed books. Some double elephant folios, like John James Audubon's monumental work, The Birds of North America, are over one and a quarter meters tall. Large formats were costly to produce, requiring more paper, ink, and press work, and they generally contained illustrations. Some publishers went to the opposite end of the spectrum, producing instead miniature books, which are under 7.6 centimeters or 3 inches tall. Books less than 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch earn their title of micro miniatures. All books, great and small, can be consulted on site in our reading room. Email rarebooks.library at mcgill.ca to set an appointment.